America is a nation of detectives today, trying to identify the suspect in this photo and this voice. Thirteen-year-old Abigail Williams and fourteen-year-old Liberty German were best friends in the eighth grade at Delphi Community Middle School in Delphi, Indiana. A small Midwestern town consisting of fewer than 3,000 residents. Known for its blue collared workers, avid hunters, and fishers, and the annual Delphi Bacon Festival, which sounds awesome. At 1 45 pm on February 13, 2017, Abigail and Liberty were dropped off by Liberty's older sister Kelsey at an abandoned railway bridge, Manon High Bridge where they planned to go hiking. Liberty's father, Derek, would pick them up later. There was no set time for the girls to return to their meeting point, and Derek would call them when he got there, which wouldn't be any more than two hours. At 3.11, about an hour and a half after the girls had been dropped off, Derek texted Liberty, saying he was just arriving to collect them. Upon arrival at 3.14, the girls were nowhere to be found. Attempting to call and message Liberty again, but getting no answer, he began walking the trails to search for the girls. At 3.30, he called Liberty's grandma, Becky, her primary caretaker, letting her know that the girls were missing. At 4 p.m., Liberty's grandmother, Becky, called her husband, Liberty's grandfather, Mike. He arrived to the trail moments later. The girl's family did not initially suspect foul play. They assumed that they had gotten stuck or maybe gotten lost or a phone had been lost or broken and they would be, they'd be found eventually. After searching the trails for about an hour, it started to get dark. And the two girls, they were officially reported missing at 5.30 p.m. By 6 p.m. a massive search began. Authorities and over a hundred locals began to search the trails throughout the night. The next day, on February 14th, the two girls were discovered murdered, lying next to each other near the end of the trail, about half a mile from the bridge they had taken pictures on. Officials did not detail on how they died. What they did release, however, was this. Law enforcement stated that the audio recording on Liberty's cell phone started off as normal girl stuff talking and laughing. It wasn't until the man on the bridge appeared that the tape captures the girls becoming nervous and worried. It is theorized that the girls likely saw the man as they entered the trail and forgot about him by the time they walked the bridge. When the man appeared again, the girls may have sensed danger. The bridge is 63 feet high and stands above a creek and the bed of the trail. The bridge takes about three minutes to cross. Liberty and Abigail, taking in the scene and taking photos, lingered on the bridge longer. The suspect, who hustled towards the girls quickly enough to alarm them, is what caused Liberty to conceal her phone at her side in her successful attempt to capture the suspect on film. If she had put the phone in her pocket by the time he approached them, it is likely the suspect was unaware of the phone, given the fact it was recovered at the crime scene, and the pictures and video were directly retrieved from the phone itself. At the end of the bridge is a hill off the trail and to the side, which is likely what the suspect is referring to in the audio tape. The bodies were found across the very shallow creek that flows at the bottom of the hill. The investigation into who was responsible for these two young girls' murder was huge. Over $200,000 were raised. A national campaign was launched to provide over 6,000 electronic billboards with information pertaining to Abigail and Liberty's case across 46 states. If you can recognize this audio clip or this photo, please call this tip line right here below. Please share this as much as possible. From Doug and myself, we thank you. Hoosiers for life. Over 12 search warrants have been issued, 
in relation to the Delphi murders investigation. Family members and law enforcement appeared on Dr. Phil. My daughter Abby and her friend Libby were found murdered. For what? No clue. Two innocent girls walking on the trails, laughing, giggling, taking pictures. It, the girls stuck together right up to the end. It's your theory that this is likely the killer? Absolutely. Okay, and I guess based on this and on witnesses, they came up with a sketch. That is correct. Uh, and this is the sketch, and, uh, but this is based on witnesses saying what they saw of, of a man there at the time, right? That is correct. Yeah. yeah, that was from an eyewitness person who saw a person that looked like this leaving that area at, around that time that day. Uh -huh. They received over 26,000 tips. America is a nation of detectives today, trying to identify the suspect in this photo and this voice. The grainy image and that haunting audio were recorded by 14-year-old Liberty German on her cell phone. In July, a witness came forward saying they saw the suspect in the area around the time the girls had been murdered. Yet still the case remains unsolved. There were a number of suspects, of course. Development. This man considered a person of interest in the Delphi murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty Journal. Daniel Nations, a registered sex offender. Thomas Bruce, an unemployed former pastor who sexually assaulted two women and shot a third one. Most recently, Charles Eldridge. He was arrested on charges of child molestation in January 2019 in Union City, Indiana and has a strong resemblance to these sketches and photos. However, investigators say it's too early to make a connection and are not calling Eldritch a person of interest yet. They're not calling him one yet. As soon as his name was announced on Facebook, people are already pretty certain, it seems. Who knows, maybe their investigation into Charles Eldridge will finally reveal who was responsible for Abigail and Liberty's murder, or it will prove to be just another dead end. Hopefully, the families of both the two young girls will get some closure very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Mike out.